Playing games is never healthy before or during any relationship. But for today's episode of The Brock Bachelor, the remaining three bachelorettes will make their best impression on Caleb over our first ever Brock Bachelor game show. Yeah, it's been a whirlwind since I started this journey two months ago. Um, my life has changed for the better. I uh, met them in Isaacs here two months ago and now it's come in full circle. I'm seeing them here again today. So I'm excited to see how things go, get to know them a little bit better today and um, see where things go from here. Good to see everyone again. I'd like to welcome you to the first ever game show edition of the Brock Bachelor. So how today's date will work, you'll be answering questions. Caleb will be our eye in the sky today. He won't know whose answers are whose but he will be picking what answers he likes the most, so it really is a true test of personality and character. The winner of today's challenge will get a little bit of extra one-on-one -on -one time with Caleb today, and then we'll go into our rose ceremony. After today's rose ceremony, we'll be down to two of you, which means the remaining two will go to hometowns. Let's get this started. What is the most important part of a relationship? What is the most important part of a relationship? Two of you answered trust, one answered loyalty, so that's actually a three-way tie for the first one. So you all get a point. So moving on to our next question. What is your favorite movie? Kennedy, you answered The Grinch You Stole Christmas. Kennedy, that's one point for you. Good job. <laughs> moving on to our third question. Your dream place to live when you're older is? Marissa, you answered Ancaster, Ontario. Marissa, that's one point for you. For the next question, what is your favorite summer activity? For favorite summer activity, Rima, you answered patio season. That's one point for Rima. We're all tied. For the next part of today's game show, we have three shirts here. You will have to identify which one is Caleb. So I'm going to come down here and pass them around. This one? Okay. Is that one it? Sure. Yeah, that's the one. This is the one? Yeah. Okay. Check. You sniffed and you guessed. Kennedy, you guessed right. Congratulations. That's another point for Kennedy. Now, plot twist. Kennedy, you can keep the point you have or you can take a risk and you can see what's in the mystery box. Keep in mind, the mystery box can be anything. It could be the salad spinner you and your roommates need. It could be tickets to Akon. It could be a rose. It could be anything. So, do you want to keep the point you have or do you want to take a risk and see what's in the mystery box? All right, taking a risk, we like it. Ken, you took a risk, and the risk paid off. That's an extra point. So moving on. You're locked on the sixth floor tower overnight. What are three things you bring with you? Three things. And the winner of three things you'd bring with you if you were to be locked on the sixth floor tower overnight, blanket, laptop, and food. What is your favorite genre of music? And that's another point for Team Ken. She said country music for her favorite genre of music. Congrats. What is your number one guilty pleasure? For number one guilty pleasure, watching reality TV is our winner. The most important thing in your life other than family and friends is So our last question of the day was, what is the most important thing in your life other than family and friends? And the winner of that was boyfriend. Congratulations, Kennedy. You're the winner of the first ever Brock Bachelor game show. You can now enjoy some one-on-one -on -one time with Caleb. Dude. Don't mind me. Dude, okay, um, let's talk about music. I was hoping you were gonna say it. I was hoping you were going to say Bob Cajun for the uh, spot to live. Oh, uh, I should have. That would have been good. Um, I think it'll give her a pretty good advantage. They seem to be having a pretty good spark so far anyways, and she got the most points, so it just made sense that they got to evolve their love more. But, but I, like, I like country music, yeah, too. I know. 
Matt um, was rating all three answers, but I just picked it instantly. Really? Yeah. Mm, what were the other answers? Uh, R&B and Spotify. I don't think the person <laughs> understood the question. <laughs> they said Spotify. I think they were meaning like favorite platform maybe, but. I definitely do think that I do have an advantage um, by having the one-on-one -on -one time with Caleb because um, that two minutes we had was an extra chance to connect with him more and learn more about each other, which I really enjoyed. The beach is fun because you yeah. can like- Yeah, the thing about the beach is like it's hard to find parking and then if you forget your sunscreen, you're ruined. Um, yeah, I think the extra one-on-one -on -one time definitely helped. But I also think the one-on-one -on -one time off the show is really helping as well, so. Oh. I'm just trying to down this to get some liquid If courage. this was real, I think the conversation would have flowed better. <laughs> no, no well, your questions suck. Oh, <laughs> you literally watch and you're like, what's your week like? Did you have a good day? <laughs> I've never done that. <laughs> I asked how many exams Rima had once. Is this her first bite? <laughs> oh, first and last. Do I think my savage level is at an all-time high today? That depends on what the camera can pick up. No, Marissa's just been herself. She's been outgoing, fun, and I've really enjoyed her personality tonight. He just hates ones. anything I say. <laughs> he like, hates no, everything. I, just, like, I love up. He's like, I hate, I love down. Like, <laughs> what were you saying before, though? I cut you off. You're going to say something good. I don't remember now. It's okay. I'm used to it. Something else. <laughs> <laughs> You're so mean to me sometimes. I feel like I try to be sarcastic, and you just, you don't get it. I'm very sarcastic. No, no, no. I think but it's sarcasm. I'm okay. just bugging you. you. you no, you can get the topics. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm done. I'm done trying. He's so mad at me. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Um, nothing. Just spending time with the family. Um, spending time with my friends. Like, nothing too crazy. I wish I was going away home. For Christmas? Um, I'm not doing anything. I just hang out with my family. Always. Yeah, I'm going back to Alberta. Um, I don't think there's one specific girl who's feeling the pressure. I feel like we're all a bit nervous um, because now that it's down to the wire, I feel like we all have something special about ourselves. Um, so I definitely do feel like we're all feeling the pressure today. Our kitchen table somehow broke. Two beds were puked up. Ew. Do your parents yeah, well, know don't, about but, this party? Don't, do your parents but, know about are you, this party? Are you filming? Sorry. Okay, just don't, <laughs> don't include any of that. My parents know. The most nervous about going home. I don't know. I'd probably say myself. Um, I think Caleb is probably nervous because, like I said before, we're down to the wire, and uh, there's three really good girls um, that he can choose. So I definitely feel like he's nervous, and it's definitely going to be a hard decision for him. Like we were oh like my god, no. It was, me is all bad, Will. I'll use the monkey next time. Okay. Well, I hate to break things up here, but we now have to go into our rose ceremony. Perfect. All right, so you all know the deal. There's three of you, two roses. Caleb? Yeah, guys, today was a lot of fun. Um, I always hate getting to rose ceremonies because it means saying goodbye to one of my three girlfriends. Um, it's unfortunate, but it's the way it goes. But yeah, the game show was great. I loved all your answers. Even if I didn't pick it, I still liked it. Um, and our time on the couch was just unmatchable. Marissa, will you accept this rose? Kennedy, will you accept this rose? Yeah. Thank you. Rima, thank you for putting your heart on the line. I'm sorry you did not receive a rose. Take a moment and say your goodbyes. Thanks for joining the show. Um, you know, I'm feeling pretty okay. The only disappointment is that I think I might get locked out of my house since I didn't make it to hometowns. It was a great experience. Really uh, had a good time. It was something I've never done before and I met a lot of great people. Next time on The Brock Bachelor. Caleb gets tested at Marissa's hometown. No, so I'm super protective of her. 
I give it an 8.1. You just being nice? A lot of character in here. Yeah, that blessing is never coming. Like, I should have kept, I should have kept hot dog. Like I said, I was a little skeptical early on. I was a little, a little worried. That's what I should have done. All right. And I should have kept Courtney. Actually, I go. I gotta go. I have to go.